guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jacqueline Ann. Hi, thank you for being here. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. So I am so excited about today's video. Um, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. I am going to take one item and style it five ways. I was hoping to do this to be able to help you guys because I had someone reach out to me um, on Instagram, we visit all the time, um, in messages on Instagram, and she was just saying that she had a hard time styling these pants, like they're super comfy, but she just wasn't sure how to style them and not have them look like pajama-y. Um, and I totally, totally related to that because when I first got them, I wasn't sure exactly how to style them in the most flattering way for myself either. So I thought it might be helpful to you guys to do this and I did it with all Lululemon items. So I'm hoping that there are things that you might already have in your closet as well. So that if you do have the pants, if you've bought them already, or if you are grabbing them like I am right now, there are several new colors in this pair of pants, um, then you will be able to style them also. So the pants that I'm talking about are these um, soft stream high rise pants. And this is in the color bone. Sorry, there is a glare because there's so much sunlight coming in. But this bone color is pretty much the same color are very, very close, maybe slightly cooler toned than white opal, but we are talking really, really close color, a cool toned off white color, if that helps at all. Um, I love these pants. They are just a straight leg pant and the fabric on them is that same soft string fabric that we know and love from the cropped crew sweatshirts, which has this like cooling effect to it. So I love this fabric because it keeps you warm, but it also doesn't overheat you. And it's just the softest thing that I've ever put on my body. I absolutely like love these pants. I wore the heck out of them all through the spring and summer last year, grabbed every color that I could get my hands on, but these do sell out really quick. So if you're trying to get your hands on a particular color, if you see one of the colors that's dropped and you love, there were several colors that dropped this past week and you better believe that I will be grabbing each one of them because I just love these and I lived in these through the spring, the summer, um, through the fall. And then whenever winter came, I reached for something a little bit warmer or something fleecier. But as in Louisiana, we're already getting some warmer days mixed in with the cooler ones. So on the warmer days, I'm already pulling for these already. So I'm so excited to get some spring colors in the lineup. And this is one of the colors and they had it at my local store. So I picked it up. So if you have some of these and you're just looking for how to style them, I do also want to let you know, I always have this posted on my Instagram and also on my LTK. So if you are ever looking for ways to style an outfit and you just don't know um, like what to put with it, I always have I have even more on my LTK than I do on my Instagram, but follow me on Instagram, follow me on LTK if you're looking for a little bit of inspiration of just how to put things together. Um, because just I just post what I'm wearing from day to day in my very normal, casual, everyday, totally relatable to everyday life kind of ways of wearing things. So um, follow me on both of those places if you're not already and um, let me know if you like this kind of video. Um, I'll be happy to do more of these videos if this is helpful to you. So um, yeah, let's get right into how I styled it. Okay, so the first way that I styled this is with the It's Rulu Run Half Zip Cropped in Smoked Spruce. So Smoked Spruce is one of my favorite colors. This is one of my favorite um, pieces that I've had for the fall and the winter. I just love the soft fabric of the It's Rulu Run tops um they are like really really versatile um but what makes this so perfect so with this type of pant i have found that my best silhouette is whenever you're wearing something that is a bit cropped that fits right that falls right at the waistband so um, it basically divides your top half into a third and your bottom half into two thirds which means that your bottom half just looks long and lean and flowy so that is sort of the silhouette that we're going for so i chose the cropped version of the It's Rulu Run top um, and we're going for a sporty look with this look. So I went ahead and paired it with some, I think that they're called Air Max 360 sneakers. I'm not sure, but I will check and it will be listed below and everything 
that I have in each of the outfits will be linked and my sizes will be included so you can find everything um, linked in the description below. But I went ahead and put the sneakers with it and then um, I decided that I needed to throw my hair up in a ponytail so that it would go with the sporty look and chose an everywhere belt bag. This is my OG. Um, I've had this for forever. It's not the extended strap in, I believe that the color is white opal, but it's so far back that I'm not even 100% sure about that. But whatever belt bag that you have that pairs with, a, with whatever colors you're wearing is the way to go. And then I went ahead and threw on just a watch for a simple accessory, but it kind of just keeps, I usually wear my Apple watch all the time and these watch bands have been my favorite. So um, I went ahead and threw that on and that completes a great sporty look. You could wear this to um, go sit at a kid's soccer game, to run around, whatever your you know, activity of the weekend might be. This is perfect, perfect for running after kids, really, really comfortable, really easy to wear. And so that is look one. Okay, so for the second look, I was going for something that's a little bit maybe more street style with this look. So I went ahead and paired it with the all aligned mock neck in black. You guys know that that's another one of my favorites. So if you follow me, there's a good chance that you've at least tried it. So I know that this will likely be in your closet or at least be on the list of things that you've seen me style with before. So this is another one that fits at a nice cropped length. So it is super flattering in the way that it falls. So um, I went ahead and put the black with the white because I just feel like, um, or bone, because I just feel like those two colors work so well together. Um, I went ahead and chose a different pair of sneakers. I went with New Balance. They're a little bit on the trendy side right now, and they're just a cute street style sneaker. It's not something that I necessarily would wear to work out, but more just wear casually. So I went ahead and paired it with um, that sneaker. And then I added on my YSL hat. I am a huge fan of hats. I feel like that they help as an accessory. So don't sleep on adding a hat in. It does not have to be a designer hat. I like this one because I got it for Christmas and it's designer. Um, so it just kind of gives you a little bit of extra style flair to it. But Lululemon has some really great hats. I have the trucker hat um, from Lululemon. I have some really cute ones. So wherever you choose to get your hats from, a couple of hats are good to have for rotation just because it adds a little bit some of something to a look. So um, you don't wanna just put on your shirt and your pants and go. You wanna add a couple of extra accessories to just elevate the look and this definitely does that. Um, so I went ahead and added that hat. And then the bag that I chose for this, rather than going with an everywhere belt bag, which is what I wear for so much of the time, um, I went ahead and chose the crossbody um, with the nano pouch that I was able to pick up this past year. At the end of the year, um, they kept restocking over and over. So hopefully you guys were able to grab one. I was letting you guys know on Instagram when I saw them restocked. So hopefully you're following me there. And if you're wanting one, you were able to grab one too. But any kind of crossbody would work. And I was wearing my watch, which you couldn't see that I was wearing my watch band, but I did add that with. I always wear the same jewelry or a variation of some very similar jewelry. I never take off my Miranda Fry br bracelets and I um, have some Miranda Fry huggies and um, some just little dainty second hole earrings. But this is like my normal routine of what I wear as far as jewelry goes. And that is the entire second look. Okay, and the third look is sort of a trickier look I feel like to pull off, and this is probably one of the things that reasons that she was asking. So I love a sweatshirt paired with these type of pants, but you have to be careful about the sweatshirt or how you style it because if you're going with something that's too big a silhouette on the top, plus the loose flowy pants, that can sometimes make you look just frumpy. So for this, I went ahead and chose a sweatshirt, but I chose the, the Cropped Crew Soft Stream sweatshirt because it is kind of cropped, so it doesn't fall too long and it's still nice and flattering. I had this already in the color White Opal, which is not the exact same shade as Bone, but it is really, really close. And so I will wear the two of them together because I feel like they are so close that they are still going with that monochromatic look. And so um, I went ahead and paired those two together. But in order to stop it from looking just too frumpy, I did go ahead and do just a little side front tuck, just a very minimal amount of tuck 
just in order to kind of show the waistline because again we're always trying to make sure that the waistline is defined to kind of give yourself the best silhouette that you could have so i went ahead and did that with the same new balance sneakers that i tend to wear casually as like my street sneakers so i put that with the new balance sneakers and then i went ahead and added a headband to this which sounds like a very small detail but it just elevates it just that teeny little bit that says okay i'm trying to go for a look or I have styled this outfit and not just I'm wearing sweats because that's what I rolled out of bed in. Um, it doesn't have to be this particular headband. I'll have it linked. It's just an Amazon headband. I mean, you could do a claw clip or something. The idea is just that you're going ahead and completing some kind of look with your hair, with the hat, with something to make it look more complete. And then of course I did have my watch band and I threw it with the crossbody camera, camera crossbody bag. Now I'm not sure which order it's in, but I will have it linked below. But I already had that in the color bone, which looks so perfect and monochromatic. Of course, um, if you are scared of whites, this might not be the monochromatic look for you, but I absolutely love these colors together. And you always look more chic whenever you stick with a monochromatic look. So that is the third look. Okay, so look number four is the top that I'm wearing. It's the All It Takes long sleeve shirt, and I am wearing it in the color Green Jasper. I love these shirts, and again, they are a shirt that falls at that cropped length. So you can see that I'm going for the same general rule of thumb, the same, um, basically it's just a uniform. So once you figure out the formula, you're just gonna recreate it with all of the tops that you have in your closet already that sort of fit that silhouette. So the All It Takes Long Sleeve Top in Green Jasper, absolutely love this color. It looks really, really good with bone, with white opal, um, but whatever color you have in your closet, that would work perfectly well if you have the brown, if you have the black. Anything in this silhouette or in this top style would totally work. And I was trying to go for a look that's a little bit more um, whenever you have a warmer, almost springish sort of day. So I went ahead and put it with my um, Sherpa sandals. These are very similar to a pair of Birkenstocks. I will have that link below. If these Sherpa sandals, which these were from Target, if they happen to still be available, I have that linked also, but I like them because they're cozy, but then they're still an open toed shoe. We get a lot of warm weather here. So there are a lot of days that um, I actually can wear this even through the winter time. So I went ahead and added that in for the shoe for this outfit. And then I did, because I'm wearing the Sherpa shoes, go ahead and throw on the Sherpa Everywhere belt bag, which just, you know, pulls it together, completes a look. And I left my hair down. I wear my hair down a lot of the time. So that's just what I did for this outfit. And that is look number four. Okay, so for the fifth look, I wanted to go ahead and do a spring summer type look because I wear these pants throughout the spring and the summer. Where I live, it is very warm and so um, everyone has their air condition freezing um, and I run cold. So I wear the pants throughout the summertime. But the way that I would balance it out through the summertime, since it is pants and whenever it's 100 degrees, um, you want to wear it with something sleeveless. So I went ahead and paired it with the whole tight tank um, and you'll see that I decided to go ahead since it's a nice and long tank which I love these tanks I love the long sleeves you could easily make this outfit with the long sleeves but um, since it is the tank I went ahead and tucked it up into my sports bra I am just wearing the like a cloud bra with everything that you see today because I wear it with everything that I can get away with. I went ahead and tucked it up into my sports bra so that it could fall just right at the pants line because like I said, I just prefer the silhouette right at the pants line. That's gonna give you the best look um, or at least it gives me the best look in my opinion. And um, so I tucked it up in there and um, then now we have a crop looking tank. So I went with Lululemon items during the summertime this past year. I had some Amazon tanks that fell at just the right length and I wore those all the time. But because we are Lululemon lover lovers here, I wanted to make sure and only show you Lululemon items because you probably already have these in your closet. So it makes it really easy to just create a lot of outfits. So I went ahead and tucked it up to make the 
correct length for my pants. And then I went ahead and just threw on an everywhere belt bag and a pair of Javianas flip flops, just a really neutral um, outfit. But this is something that I would definitely wear all summer long. And I wear a version of this at least once a week in the summertime because it is just so easy to throw on and just looks cute. So basically um, that is how I sort of the formula for styling this style of pants. Even if you have a different body type, I think that you'll find that some kind of variation that what of what I'm talking about will probably be flattering. But um, I'm really interested to know if you guys have paired these same items together already or what you find works the best with your um, pants if you already have some in your closet. And if you do not have a pair of these in your closet already, I highly suggest that you go ahead and grab a pair. I could not recommend them more. And um, the colors tend to sell out. So when you see a color that you have, that you gravitate toward, definitely grab it because they don't stay long. And then by the time you decide you're ready to take the plunge and grab it, they can be sold out and that's so such a bummer last year i really wanted the red merlot and i hesitated a little too long and i never did end up getting them um and i'm still regretful about not having grabbed them even to this day because i wear these pants so much and i just love them so um, while they're in stock right now it's the perfect time to grab if you have not gotten a pair yet or if there's a color that you're eyeing don't hesitate and um, please let me know in the comments below if you like this video, um, if you like styling videos, and if there's a particular item that you'd really like me to style a few different ways like this. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the, enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next video.